In this example, we are going to go through a new option available when verifying toolpaths. This new option allows a user to adjust the tool overhang only when collisions are found. The cutting length will not be modified. If a collision is found with the shank, then that still remains, and it is up to the user to pick a suitable tool to machine that area. So if I activate this toolpath, right click on it and simulate from start. Let me just slow this down a bit and take a view from the end. And then I'm gonna hit play. So straight away we can see as the tool is dropping down to these bottom corner regions. Let me just back it up a little bit and we can see that both the shank and the holder are colliding with the model. So I'm going to run a verification to output the safe and unsafe moves. So if I right click on the toolpath, scroll down to verify, select toolpath. I want to check collisions against the model and I want to split the toolpath into its safe moves and its unsafe moves. So when a collision is found, I want to adjust the tool and now I have the option to adjust the overhang only. So if I just hit apply, I get uh, the exact same message I would have had had I not checked this, that collisions were found between the model and the shank, uh, the model and the holder, and Paramil then gives me a suggested minimum cutting tool length and a suggested minimum tool overhang. So now if I hit OK and accept, I have three tool paths. So I have my original toolpath with a altered overhang, except this time, compared to previous versions of Paramil, the cutting length remains the same. So before, when Paramil would output a safe toolpath with an altered tool geometry, as in it changes the cutting tool length, now it's going to output an unsafe toolpath, however it still changes the tool overhang. So this tells me that I need to pick a completely new tool. So the issue with Paramil changing the cutting length before was that sometimes this just couldn't happen. We didn't have the tool available and we just simply could not change the cutting tool length. Especially in tools like this where we have a non-cylindrical shank. So we have uh, different diameters and different taper angles going up this shank. So it's quite a specialized tool, and it's just something that we cannot change the coding geometry of. So now as well, I have a toolpath output where only the safe moves are given. And then I have a toolpath showing the unsafe moves. However, instead of the coding length being changed, only the tool overhang is altered. So it is still up to me to find a way to machine these areas, but now Paramil is not telling me or giving me a tool with an altered cutting length, which is what I want. This option is just a minor change to the verification page, but it has been requested by quite a lot of users, and especially through the online Paramil form, by putting it in, uh, hopefully it gives the users more control over how they are programming their toolpaths in parallel.